child all i know is is that if you're not living under a rock you already know who tiffany red is so for a quick synopsis she is an accomplished singer songwriter and artist in the music industry she's written for a lot of big artists that i'm not really going to go through right now because um you can find that anywhere on the internet but i really want to talk about the, the things that she's been saying lately and she has revealed that she is coming for diddy now but i want to play some um clips from her live that she's been talking about she is someone in the music industry who advocates for fair pay for um songwriters and producers and stuff like that and if you guys don't know a lot about the music business like definitely like this uh, video and subscribe because i'm always so interested in getting to know more about the music business we all love music and artists so much but we do not know what goes on behind the scenes and that is what a real tea be at for me okay so in this live, she put Beyonce on blast for taking publishing off of the uh, songwriters who worked on Beyonce's Renaissance album. So I'm going to fast forward it about uh, four minutes and 59 seconds in. That's where she really starts going in. So let's hear what Tiffany has to say. Publishers. I talked to the DSPs. I talked to the copyright royalty, uh, the copyright, the U.S. Copyright Office. I talked to NMPA, I talked to RIAA, I talked to Sona, I talked to NSAI, I talked to all of them. And guess what? Y'all are still broke. Y'all are broke. <laughs> okay, that's the truth, right? Okay, so the people that are like, oh, this is not true. I had somebody call it propaganda yesterday. It's not propaganda. The reality is, is there is no A-list artist, B-list artist, or C-list artist that's not taking publishing because that is the way the music industry works. And to deny that is delusional. And what I will... I have to agree with her. That is definitely how the music industry works. If you are someone who writes songs and you even want a Beyonce or a Chris Brown to hear your song, you have to be willing to give up starting at at least 20 to 25 percent of that song if they even like the song so that they'll take the song and put it on their album. And is that fair? Absolutely not, especially if they're not writing, um, you know, significant parts of the song. So I definitely agree. Not allowed. <laughs> It's for anybody to make me feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone because I know I'm not in the Twilight Zone. I can pull up my records. Be sure to like, comment, and Because I haven't had the opportunity. I've had the opportunity to work with everybody. And I've turned down a lot of stuff because I'm not willing to play these games. There's a massive power dynamic happening. Please don't act like it's easy to negotiate with Beyonce and her team because it is not. If, it was, if that was the case, there would not be so many people coming to me like, Tiff, this is how much was taken. Shit is not negotiable. It's not. These are the terms. Which means, okay, cool, then we work for you, Beyonce. So that means you're an employer. But either way, to imply that the artists do not have to be responsible for the business practices that they exercise with songwriters to, to, to insinuate that the only way you are treated fairly is if you are managed by one of the gatekeepers is bullshit. Exactly. And so what she's saying is that if you're not managed by someone in the industry who is important, like let's say a rock nation, or if you're signed to a major publisher like a Sony or Universal or um, what's the other one? I can't really remember right now, but um, or Warner, right? <clears throat> then people don't care. People don't care about you. People don't care to advocate you for the amount of money that you're making. And a lot of people, you know, were criticizing Tiffany for speaking out and saying then why are you giving your songs to her you know like once again Tiffany stated that she has never worked with Beyonce before not because she can't she's probably had the opportunity and turned it down because it's very easy to understand who does what and how people do business in the industry she clearly has a lot of friends who are songwriters and producers working with the top artists in the field and so of course they all talk but they can't speak publicly and that's the thing no one who was actually working with Beyonce is speaking out because they're all under ND so they're all um they all signed this contract to not speak or else they're not going to be able to work with her and the power dynamic is is that okay well why you're working why are you working with them people want to have that on their resume oh i work with beyonce i work with chris brown and what um tiffany said in this uh live was that those grammys and those platinum plaques they do not pay your bills so it is still not fair but the difference between Tiffany and all these other people who are working with these artists is that Tiffany has enough integrity to, to know that she will never make it to the top because she has enough integrity to turn it down. Well, all these other people, they do want to be successful and they shouldn't be punished for that. And so I think that asking for fair pay is really just the bare minimum for real, for real. Just like how we have people who speak on behalf of the Black community. When it comes to Black Lives Matter situation, George George Floyd, Brit Brittany is that is her name Brittany Taylor Sandra Bland right Tiffany is doing this work on behalf of our people in the music business 
quickly, y'all. The thing to your head is the power dynamic. The thing to your head is your livelihood. The thing to your head is being excluded and ostracized and, and retaliated against for even trying. That's the thing to your head. They don't need to put it to your head anymore because they control everything. That's the you And you know what's really crazy about this situation, about Beyonce specifically, is that she is someone who preaches about Black power, did a whole era on a being black and being successfully black and trying to get to billionaire status but taking advantage of her own people that is really what's crazy and as tiffany is saying people this industry proclaims to make billions of dollars every year but cannot afford to buy you lunch think about spending so much time in the studio and nobody buying you lunch you are at work imagine going to work and them saying oh you're not getting paid today what Anyway, so now Tiffany is on Diddy's neck, <laughs> you know, where she needs to be because she was really great friends with Cassie. And of course, we already know everything that happened with Cassie last year and their whole lawsuit. And so she's alleging that her working with Cassie, Diddy did not want to hear Cassie's music that they made together unless Cassie participated in those freak offs. And so Tiffany is probably going to be suing for, you know, back pay and all the things that she's done that she had not been compensated as she's owned. Let's go see. Here, look at this. So cats out the bag. I'm suing too. That's why I haven't been answering your questions. You want to know why I haven't been in LA? You want to know why Tiffany Red is not outside doing 100% of her activations? Because I don't feel safe. That's why. Because I don't want to endanger my team, the people around me. So Tiffany is the CEO and founder of this organization called the 100 Percenters, and they are the ones who go around protesting at Congress in Washington, D.C., in New York, to Spotify, Apple Music, all of the big companies that, you know, stream music and make music available for public consumption so to advocate for fair pay. And she's saying that she cannot move around right now how she normally would because she doesn't feel safe And um, after speaking out against Diddy. And so um, she's going to be suing for all of the work that she has done that she hasn't gotten paid for now here is where her rent gets emotional and i really really feel for her really bad supposed to not say shit fuck that fuck that because i didn't do nothing but fucking write records that are fucking incredible that are fucking incredible and what did these niggas do waste my fucking time waste my talents throw me away and y'all expect me to be fucking quiet? You want an interview? This is my life. In real life. That's Lil Rod's life. In real life. That's Cassie's life. In real life. And all this shit y'all doing on the internet is putting everybody in danger. I'm not outside because it's dangerous. It really sucks. People who, like, imagine, like, having a dream to make music and to be a big songwriter and an artist and you have to go through so much danger and just to get it done and then sacrifice who you are as a person your integrity and your morals so i definitely feel for all of the songwriters and the pr producers tiffany is speaking up for the voiceless for the people who are afraid to come forward it's not just about her she's really not even making it about her in, especially in her fight in general, because she's not even the ones who are working with these big artists. She has had experiences with B and C list artists and stuff like that, and probably even A list artists, but it's not about that, you know? And I think that we all need to see the bigger picture here. So I definitely want to know what you guys have to say about this in the comments. But before we go, I definitely want to put you guys onto the current petition that Tiffany and her team are working on. So check this out real quick. And I'm going to leave this in the, um, what's it called, in the description of this video or in the pinned comment. So here's the petition. It says, songwriters demand a contract and compensation from record labels and artists. Hashtag pay songwriters. You can like look her up on any social media platform and find information about this. Look up the 100 percenters. Their goal is 5,000 signatures and they're at 2.8K right now. A petition to Universal Music Group and all of the big labels, C, Sony, and Warner, okay? Um, you guys can also donate, but please just at least sign this thing, right? Like really sign this thing songwriters make 15.1 percent out of total streaming revenue in the u.s while, while record labels make 52 to 57 percent 
that is absolutely not fair because we wouldn't be here today. Labels wouldn't be here today. Artists wouldn't be here today if it was not for the writers. This is what they're asking for, which is literally basic pay. A session fee is the time that you take in a session in the studio to write with an artist. Even when you're in the studio, it's not guaranteed that the, the artist is going to use the song. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be paid for, for your time, right? Then there's a songwriter agreement. We demand a comprehensive and detailed agreement between the songwriter and the artist and record label that specifies job details, including compensation and most importantly, ownership rights. They want a songwriter fee and master points which has to do deal with publishing. And you guys might not, you know, know a lot about that. Participation in sound exchange royalties. So please sign and share this petition if you support songwriters and making a livable wage. And especially if your favorite artist is also a writer as well. I know Nicki Minaj is a writer and I hope that she is on the right side of history when it comes to this issue because, you know... I lose a lot of respect for people um, like Beyonce, who is really making it hard out here. So um, that's really all I had to say about this. But I appreciate you guys for listening until the end. Please go and help Tiffany and her team out, uh, sign the petition, and please like this video. And I will see you in the next one.